Maureen Oshima Kinde, and this is Pimo Secret. Have you ever imagined how Joseph must have felt when, after he told the butler, remember me when you get to Pharaoh? And the Bible made us understand that the butler forgot. I mean, who does that? Here was someone, you were going about your business. And the Bible says Joseph noticed the countenance of both the butler and the baker. And he called them and he asked what was wrong, showing concern. And then you went ahead and told him your dream that you were worried about. And he, by the Spirit of God, gave you an interpretation to that dream. And just as he said it, it came to pass. The baker was hung and the butler was restored. And when Joseph saw that that had happened, he called the butler and said to him, when you get to Pharaoh, please make mention of me. But two years, the butler forgot him. Who does that? For two good whole years, he forgot him. This is someone that saved you. Someone that gave you a word that turned your life around. And somehow you forgot. That wasn't the butler forgetting. That was God walking behind the scene. Joseph could have been offended and would have wondered that, how come I did you a favor? I helped you. Have you been in that situation before? You did someone a favor. You helped the person. And somehow in your time of need, you felt forgotten. You felt betrayed. You felt like, you know, abandoned. That was what Joseph felt for two good years. But what Joseph didn't know, what he didn't realize was, it was God walking behind the scene. It wasn't up to the butler to forget. God made him forget. It was God that was orchestrating that situation. We oftentimes expect too much from people. We, 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 we expect that they respond to us the way we responded to them. What I call entitlement mentality. I think that is giving one human being too much power. It is not up to any human being to determine the course of your life. Unknown to Joseph, God was, you know, preparing a grand stage where he was going to showcase him to the world. Unknown to Joseph, two years later, Pharaoh was going to dream. Now just imagine that the butler actually remembered him and mentioned him to Pharaoh. You know what he said to him? He said, when you get to Pharaoh, let him know that I'm not supposed to be here. I was sold as a slave. So in the mind of Joseph at that time, all he wanted was just to go back to his family. And imagine if the butler had actually gone to Pharaoh and mentioned that to Pharaoh and Pharaoh had called for Joseph and then, you know, let him go. What would have happened? Joseph would have returned back to his family and that would have been the end. But God knew that there was something much more waiting two years after. Have you felt forgotten? Have you felt betrayed? Have you felt like, you know, you did someone a favor and the person didn't return that favor the way you expected? Don't get too angry or upset with that person. Trust God that there's something he's doing that you are not seeing. And it's often going to be bigger. It's often going to be greater. It's often going to show God in a bigger light. At the end of the day, Pharaoh had the dream. And the Bible says the butler remembered his fault. Butler, it wasn't so much your fault. God made you forget. God would make some people forget you. It is not a cause. But because there's something much more down the road. There's something much more down the line. There's something bigger that God has planned and in store for you. I pray this has blessed you. Thank you for listening and God bless you.